Hi friends, today we will see one problem on dielectric heating. So first we will read the problem. A slab of material 2 cm thick and 15 square cm in area having relative permeability of 4 and power factor is 0.04 is to be heating heated using dielectric heating. The power required is 200 watt and a frequency of 30 megahertz determine voltage required current will pass through the material third one is if voltage is 600 volt what should be the frequency for the same power actually this is a question so to solve these type of questions uh, by using dielectric heating we need to concentrate on these things so dielectric heating is like this it is a parallel combination of resistance and capacitance as it is a parallel combination so this is resistance this is reactance xc and current passing through the resistance is ir and current passing through capacitance is ic and this is the total current as both are in parallel voltage across them is same okay so these are the some of the basics uh, we need to learn so once this part is over now we can easily solve this problem yes i want to solve this problem in a livelihood manner so wherever we want we will go back and we will get the equations so here actually power is defined power is defined as current passing through resistance and capacitance and power can be defined as power p is equal to i square into r so which is equal to v square divided by r which implies we want voltage here so v is equal to square root of power p into r so we know power power has been given as 200 watt so power can be identified but we need to find out resistance r so how to find the resistance r so to find the resistance r we can take the help of cos phi so power factor so which is equal to cos phi that is equal to yeah here i have to draw the diagram just see so this is my voltage and which is the reference okay the current passing through resistance is in phase with the voltage that is IR I can also call it as V by R so I want to write the currents in terms of voltage V and current passing through capacitor is 90 degree okay 90 degree ahead of this current so this current is IC and I can write this as V omega C and the total current would be I having an angle phi uh, with voltage so this is the angle between voltage and current phi this is called power factor angle so what does it mean by cos phi now so cos phi means adjacent side that is v by r divided by adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so anyhow uh, this is uh, we don't like to go ahead go about it it's easy for us it's easy for us to convert this cos phi into tan phi okay then our job will be much easier so cos phi has been given as 0.04 so which implies tan phi is equal to so tan phi is equal to 24.78 which can also be written from the diagram tan phi means opposite side so v omega c divided by adjacent side so v by r so which is equal to r omega c so now it is easy i know tan phi and i know 2 pi omega means 2 pi f f means frequency it has been given so i can find out omega but i don't know c also so to find out r i should definitely know c so for finding C, I need to do something. So I want to write here. This is, I am doing it for C. 
okay here i am doing it for r so what is c so c is equal to we know the formula epsilon not epsilon r a by d where a is the area d is the you can call it as thickness also so epsilon not is 8.854 10 to the power of minus 12 and epsilon r is 4 it has been given so this is epsilon r and area area is 15 square centimeter has been given so 15 into square centimeter so i want to convert into meter 15 into 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4 so capacitance C is equal to 26.56 picofarad so this is the final answer so now we can go ahead now I can substitute this C in this equation so it would be so for getting R which implies for getting R R is equal to 24.78 divided by omega c that is 2 pi into frequency f is 30 mega h 30 into 10 to the power of 6 into capacitance is 26.56 pico into 10 to the power of minus 12 so this this will get cancels 10 to the power of minus 6 is remaining so which implies Resistance R would be 4992 ohm. After solving, you will get this. This is the resistance. So, this is the resistance. So, now I can easily find out voltage here. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next phase and uh, I will retain this formula. Don't worry. So now the formula is very simple V is equal to square root of square root of power into resistance so which is equal to square root of power is 200 200 watt into the resistance is 4992 so the voltage can come around yeah it's around 9 99.2 volt so i can take approximately equal to 1000 volt so this is the voltage so this is the voltage a bit so now current coming to b bit current we need to find out current so current passing through resistor is v by r so which is equal to v is 1000 now 1000 divided by r 4992 is equal to 0.2 okay around 0.2 ampere and coming to capacitance current passing through capacitor ic is equal to capital v omega c so which is equal to ohm cap v is uh, thousand volt and omega means 2 pi into 30 mega 13 to 10 to the power of 6 into capacitance is 26.56 into 10 to the power of minus 12 so this is in picofarad so this can come around so i can cut this this in six times and this three times one two three and with this it is one more time so two 10 to the power of minus two so in this way i can finally conclude ic is around 5 ampere okay now coming to the total current therefore the total current is The total current is square root of IR square plus IC square. So it is square root of 0.2 square plus 5 square. So when compared to 5, 0.5 is very very less. So I can call approximately as 5 ampere only. So this is B bit. Okay. 
so this is the way in which we can find out current now we can go ahead with third bit c so in c power keeping the constant okay we we can use same power but here voltage is different one okay so we, we can't take voltage same voltage and we need to find out frequency so frequency is different and power is power is same and voltage is different so with this how can we solve this so first i want to find out power p is equal to v square by r which implies i know power i know voltage also i don't know resistance so resistance would be equal to power divided by voltage square equal to 200 divided by sorry resistance would be equal to yeah so resistance would be equal to voltage square by power so voltage square voltage given is 600 into 600 divided by power is 200 so which is equal to it come around it is 3 so 1800 ohm so this is the resistance we have obtained and tan phi we have already seen so tan phi is equal to 24.6 sorry 98 is equal to omega cr which implies we know capacitance okay we know capacity actually here we have to find the frequency so 2 pi f into the capacitance is 26.56 into 10 to the power of minus 12 into resistance is 1800 so which is equal to tan phi so that is equal to 24.98 so finally what is the frequency so frequency will come around 83.12 megahertz so this is the frequency So this is the frequency. So this is the end of the problem. So first we need to recapture this problem once again. So what we have to do? This is the problem on dielectric heating. So whenever dielectric heating comes, you should have a picture of parallel resistance and capacitance combination. So once you know that combination, it's very easy. Voltage across them is same because it is parallel and current passing through them are different okay one is ir and one is ic ir is in phase with voltage and ic is 90 degree ahead of voltage so finally we can combine one current okay we can get the total current by getting the vector addition of both resistive current and capacitive current so finally we will get that and finally we can able to identify power factor angle also that is angle between voltage and current very simple so by taking power will be given and maybe voltage we need to find the if we want to find the voltage so we can take the formula of power equal to v square by r and after that we i mean r may not be known so first we need to find the r so how to find the r by taking the power factor convert that into tan okay then it will be easy the equation will be in resistance and capacitance now coming to solving of capacitance so once you find the capacitance you can easily identify the resistance okay once you find the resistance then you can find out voltage very easily by using the same formula okay voltage equal to p square divided by square root of p into r voltage equal to square root of p into r so it will be around 1000 volt in this problem next how to find the current current is very easy current is equal to v by z okay here z means v by r and coming to capacitance it would be v by xc okay xc equal to 1 by omega c so it will be v into omega c so finally the total current would be square root of ir square plus ic square is the vectorical addition so once you find that you can easily identify current and suppose if voltage has been changed to some other value how to find the frequency 
with the same power as the power is same tan phi is also same so finally we can able to find out the frequency if even though the voltage has been changed okay so that is the entire uh, uh, story of this problem so if you have any doubts you can type in the comment window so that i can help you out within 24 hours so please like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you thank you so much